Well, it's not unusual for the, a department secretary to be in the spotlight, but America's top diplomat, Antony Blinken, is putting the spotlight on a relatively new initiative last year, which combines music and diplomacy. Our Washington correspondent, Rachel Knapp, reports. It's well known that Secretary of State Antony Blinken loves music and can rock out. Even on diplomatic trips like this one to Ukraine, he performed a rendition of Neil Young's Rockin' in the Free World. Last year, Blinken announced the department is combining both music and diplomacy to promote peace and democracy across the world. It's known as their Global Music Diplomacy Initiative. It built on the famous Cold War era jazz ambassadors, which include Duke Ellington and Louis Armstrong, who promoted American values through a medley of musical exchange programs. When Armstrong went to Ghana on the eve of its independence, he felt an incredible sense of kinship with the people that he met. He spoke about being inspired by them, by their liberation from colonial rule, and also heartbroken by the common struggles that Ghanaians and blacks in America faced. A new private-public partnership with YouTube was announced to bolster this initiative, helping support opportunity and equity in the creative economy in various countries. Through micro-grants, bolster English learning language, and showcase the unifying power of music through performance. To help the initiative hit those high notes globally, the department announced a new roster of U.S. global music ambassadors, from songwriters to rappers. I have the opportunity to share my voice across the world and uh, be a bridge for different cultures across the world. To blues artists. It's not political. We're just bringing peace through music, and it's nothing better than that. The new ambassadors hope to bring real change, which is like music, to their ears. Being able to recognize through music that we all do have so much in common is needed now in today's world more than, than it ever has been. At the State Department, Rachel Knapp, WENY News.